Happy Negroni Week to all of you out there around the world. My drink is called Nectar of Dionysus, being the, the god of the wine harvest, fruit orchards, uh, ritual insanity, ecstasy, and all things that should be celebrated and enjoyed during this week. So flavour-wise, you are you are getting stone fruit. You are there are floral notes. There is that citrus and bitterness, but it is slightly subdued due to the salt to open up more of those kind of fainter nuances that are there within within the profiles of these ingredients already. My name is Lamar Powell. I'm bar manager at Fire Grill Sydney, which is a new venue in Clarence Street. All right, so obviously starting off with Campari, we're doing 30 mils of Campari. Then I'm doing uh, 15 mils of Glen Grand Arborealis, single malt whiskey. Then I'm also using a uh, Riccadonna Spumanti, but we'll be ending adding this at the end. Then I have some apricot nectar. This is 15 mils. We're adding this. So only three ingredients, a touch of saline solution, which I have here in a little syringe. Just doing three mils, little squirt. Like a traditional Negroni, I am doing a stirred drink here, so I'm adding my ice. When I stir, I do count my revolutions, or at least I count seconds. So more or less, I will count for around about 20 seconds before I then am ready to pour. I'm just gonna let it sit for a second and grab my glass from the freezer. Well, the majority of the reason for a chilled glass is to keep your the temperature of your drink colder for longer, so it's more enjoyable as your guests and yourself drink it, as opposed to it warming up. This particular version on my spin-off, which as much as it's a spin-off of a Negroni and even a spin-off of a Spagliato, which is also a spin-off of a Negroni. So not having ice in it, in this particular version, having a chilled glass is gonna create my drink to be more enjoyable over a longer period of time. Therefore, keeping the guests cool and refreshed for longer. And we all know that warm cocktails don't really taste so great. So there's that. Now we're going to add our 45 mils of Riccadonna Spumante. Oh, rookie mistake. Avoid the pop. So I'm doing a 45 mil pour of this to go. We'll give it a slight stir. And I wanted something fruity. I wanted something that kind of emphasized spring as well. If we weren't in lockdown, it would be the beginning of what we'd call here in at least the east coast of Australia, spring carnival, a lot of horse racing. So generally that's ladies in pretty frocks with their hair up, guys in suits, out on the field watching their favorite filly do the dash. Now, generally that incorporates a lot of sparkling wine and champagne. Then you'd get drinks, a lot of aperitivos and sparkling drinks that go in that way. So I, I wanted to kind of take all of that influence, add a little bit of fruitiness and kind of orchard fruits and flavors, but still also with a bit of a kick. So obviously I've got my single malt, but coming from Speyside, it's a fruity kind of um, toffee, stone fruit notes, it's quite smooth. Then we've got uh, the sweeter style Italian Spumanti that they have, that obviously is a sweeter style sparkling wine, and it kind of helps with the balance out with our Campari. Also, my salt 
is there to kind of nullify the bitterness and open up its flavor profile of the Campari while also seasoning the apricot nectar that I have and bringing out more of that flavor for that fruitiness. But our Splamanti is going to give you a little bit of effervescence and some sparkle and just feel a little bit lighter. So you can have it in a wine glass. If you'd like to have it with ice, you can, just to let it go a little bit further, depending on how you want to enjoy it, or like I've done right now, in a smaller wine glass without ice. It's entirely up to you. Yes, I would uh, normally, I would garnish just with the orange peel, express and discard, but at the same time, if you'd like it to look a little bit nicer, you can obviously do more of a twist with your orange peel and either rest it on the side or cut a slit in your expressed orange peel for a bigger garnish and either leave it on the side. It's really entirely up to you and what you feel is better. It is about aroma and aroma is really going to hit your palate with that freshness, especially with the bubbles coming up and really going to work for your palate.